I'm still handheld for now. I am making a potato soup. It's actually called Nana's Baked Potato Soup because I developed this recipe for my grandmother when she was about a hundred and one, maybe a hundred and two at that point, and she was a really picky eater by then. And what I did was I kept bringing soup over to her until I finally met her criteria, which was it had to be creamy, it had to be hearty, it had to have just the right flavor. And so what I discovered was baking the potatoes made the difference. So right now I've got, in my Dutch oven, I've got an onion chopped up with some celery and I am going to add to that, once the onion is a beautiful golden brown, I'm going to add, uh, here's my baked potato here. I baked four potatoes and I smashed them up and then the secret ingredient is cauliflower. I riced a head of cauliflower and that's right here. So it's about equal parts cauliflower to potato and to that I'll be adding four cups So it's, and it's actually all fours. So it's going to be four cups of water, four cups of potato, four cups of cauliflower, and an onion and two celery stalks. And then I'll add a little bit of milk to make it extra creamy, and that's all there is to it. So I'll be back later when it's done and show you what I'm, how it looks. Okay, what do you think? Yum, yum, yum. Makes my mouth really happy. Excellent. It feels great in this weather. <laughs> it's cold. And, and what do you damp. think, Lonnie? Salt for salt. Very good. It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you. I tried. I, I did get a couple. I got my daughter-in-law and my mom to give their thoughts on the soup. And this is all that's left. So obviously it was pretty good. It is really a nice, creamy, hearty soup. You can see there are still lumps in it. You could either... Um, use an immersion blender or you can run it through the food processor or a plain old blender which is what I did. I ran about half of it through the blender and the rest of it I let go, um, I, I just allowed to be a little bit lumpy. Really creamy texture. It's perfect. It's perfect for what was a very rainy day. So the recipe will be on the website and give it a try. Enjoy.